Amen. All right. So let's welcome the Father. Let's thank him for his presence already in our mix. Father, we thank you for keeping us all night. We thank you for uh, sustaining us all night. We lay our ourselves on to bed and we woke up because you sustain us. You are the one who literally carry us to bed and woke us up. We give you glory for the gift of life, for the gift of health. We give you glory that we have another day, another chance to repent and make make amend with you and forgive people and be standing righteously before you. Father, we lift up this moment. It's a very solemn moment. It's the morning of Shabbat and you are present and your angels at work. Lord, we thank you for this unique day. And right now we're going to lift up the word, the word that is our substance. It is our life. It is our resource. The word is our health. The word is our deliverance. The word is our provision. The word is our provision. Blessed are you who gave us this commandment to dwell in the word, to eat the word, to engross ourselves with the word. And we welcome you, the teacher of that word. Without you, we're just reading mere word on a piece of parchment, on a piece of paper. It is you who come in and you make the word alive. You make it divine. You make it anointed. You make it a, a weapon. You make it all that you make it to be as a hammer, as water, living water, as fire. All of that is you. It's your presence. It's your anointing. It's your power that turns the word into that for our blessing and our breakthrough. And for that, we thank you. Father, we open our heart to receive a name. Father, feed us your word. In the name of Jesus, amen. So we're going to keep it simple as, um, let me share the screen. Okay. Okay, so um we were supposed to uh let me go to the first one. We were supposed to do that together, but since no one is opening his mic, let's do it. I'm just gonna go through it. Hallelujah. So, he who abides forever, holy is his name. I am here. I'm opening. Oh, well. Sorry. Yes. So <laughs> I was there. I was there. It's just that my mic was shut. Oh, okay. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. So, we, we're going to, do you have a testimony? Anything special you want to say before we start? Oh, mm, just the grace of God, the Amen. love of God. And Amen. Uh, I don't know. how I cannot explain my condition. Amen. I, I, I know it's another type of growth that I've done, uh, I didn't know before. But Hallelujah. it's like uh, the, the stillness of his presence. Amen. I, I don't know how to explain that in English. <laughs> Amen. 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 So I thank God for that. And I thank God because it's like the whole, all of our teachings, like from Adulam to now, they are coming together, like forming one. Amen. And, um, Glory to I God. cannot thank God. And I, I, I don't know. I hope everybody will be taking that plane. Amen. 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 So I hate to, to see some on bicycle and some are already in the plane. But God is good. <laughs> Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your word. So we're going to go to the word. Amen. Anybody else? I see another mic is open. Mapo, is that you, the co-host? Pauline. It says Pauline co-host. So Okay. So let's go to the word. He who abides forever, holy is his name. Hallelujah. He who abides forever, holy is his name. 
the positioning that Roy P was talking about is in, it's a unique and um in this season um it is I don't know but we have to open our understanding to receive what the Lord is doing but specifically this morning there's something I'm I don't know I'm feeling something this morning and um every Shabbat morning is unique because the presence of God dwells into the environment that is set apart, that takes a Shabbat, that honors it. So when Rev is think, talking about it, I don't know um, your positioning. I don't know if you're working, if you're doing something or you are in the presence of God, but I feel it. I feel what you are talking about. And he who abides forever, holy is his name. The holiness of the name of God precedes um, any manifestation that he could he could bless us with. The very name, he, he said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That very name has everything in it. His holiness. Start with his name. Hallelujah. So we are going to loud him this morning in this moment with a couple of songs. And we start um, with Psalm 33, verse 1. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. So he who makes us upright is fitting for us who has been made upright, for us who have been made upright to sing, hallelujah, joyfully to the Lord, hallelujah. By the mouth of the upright, you shall be lauded. By the words of the righteous, shall you be blessed. By the tongue of the devout, shall you be exalted. And I make the, I made the holy, shall you be sanctified. So each, it is like each class or each category, you have the mouth of the upright. You shall be lauded. Then the word of the righteous, you shall be blessed. Then the tongue of the devout, you shall be exhausted. And then amid the holy, shall you be sanctified. Hallelujah. You see? So we have been made upright. Then we are being made righteous. Hallelujah. Then the righteousness bring blessings. We are blessed. Hallelujah. Then what we receive is so good that we are devout. A being a devout person is a faithful person. It's a person that turns his life totally unto God and is committed to God. And his lifestyle is about God. What comes out of his mouth is about God. So the devout shall you be exalted. Hallelujah. Then the holy. He is holy, so we are holy. Hallelujah. You know, we we like to say that, um, some of us say that, oh, there's, we can never be holy. Only God is holy. Yes, only God is holy. The very nature of man was corrupted. That is true. But when we have a spiritual, spiritual standing and the, the blood that came to do the work for us and the name that is upon us that becomes a tower and we are inside that name as a tower, inside that name, we are holy. Inside the tower, we are holy. You see, so the holy shall you be, shall be, oh, you be sanctified. And make the holy, you shall be sanctified. So the, the progression of his children are there, being made upright, then righteous, then blessed, hallelujah, then devout, and then holy, hallelujah. Psalm 34, one to three. We're looking at, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. 
the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I will bless the Lord at all time. That talks about being devout, being devoted. It's a devout. Hallelujah. That's in the, the, the name is being is a devout. Now, what does a devout do? It gives devotion. So we give devotion, hallelujah, by continually praising the Lord. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name. The family, the congregation of the righteous come together. This morning, I say, magnify the Lord with me. Me, me, Denise, here, standing for Minister Caroline. I say, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Because where the children of God are, the name of the Father shall be exalted. Amen. Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 5 said, Hear, O Israel, hear, O Denise, hear, O Rev P, hear, O whomever is connected. Hallelujah. The Lord, our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. That's being devoted. That's a devout. Hallelujah. Now, we go to the next, the song of Shabbat. As introduced, I'm honoring this morning because it is a solemn moment. This morning is very, um, I don't know, Rev said that, it, I mean, Rev mentioned something that I want to pick up on about his, um, his grace and his um his presence and all of that. I did not, I don't remember all the words you used, but I want us to tap into the Shabbat morning. And the song of Shabbat is Psalm 92. So in the morning we proclaim Psalm 92. It is identified as the song of Shabbat. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Musai, to show forth your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Hallelujah. Upon an instrument of 10 strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound, our sister, um, Holly plays the harp. It's a very holy instrument. Verse 4 says, For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of my hand. Hallelujah. Do you want to, trans to triumph in the works of your hand? I will triumph in the works of my hand. Let everything that I do, let everything I do prosper. Let the fruit of my labor be bountiful. Let me triumph in the works of my hand. You see, so even the work of our hand, we need to, uh, we need to receive victory in there. Oh Lord, how great are thy works and thy thought are very deep. Hallelujah. Your thoughts are deep. Who can understand the ways of the Lord? Nobody. The wisdom of God is not our wisdom. Even the smartest of a man, his wisdom is foolishness before the Lord. Hallelujah. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring 
as the grass. And when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Verse eight, but thou, O Lord, are most high forever. Hallelujah. Verse nine, for lo, thy enemies, O Lord, for lo, thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. Now, if somebody comes and tells you you have a horn, I know you will flip and be scared. <laughs> but the spiritual equipping of the Lord give us a horn. And our horn has to be strong and long like the horn of a unicorn. And verse 10 continues by saying, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Do you want fresh oil? Every day, every morning. Psalm says, he'll anoint, it sounds um, 20, 23. Three, huh? He anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rev. Amen. Verse 11 says, mine eyes also shall see my desire on my enemy. My ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Amen. So my eyes will have a testimony that the Lord will grant me what I want for my enemies, be it for them to stop doing what they are doing or for them to be saved. My eyes will see it. My ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. And I will also hear the testimony that, yes, this one, her God is big. This one you cannot touch because she is protected. Amen. This one, I want to follow her God because she's she has the true God. I will also hear that. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Hallelujah. Amen. I think I had a, I had a teaching on the palm tree in the past. How mm -hmm. the believer stand as a palm tree. And he shall grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Someone also in the past, I think Rev is the one who told us, all of us, to pick a plant to do a teaching. This, this ministry is so unique. <laughs> we let the Holy Spirit be the, the pastor of this ministry. It's amazing. <laughs> so if you go through our archives, you're going to encounter the teaching on several um plants and trees and flowers and crops that we did. And I remember somebody did the Cedar of Lebanon. But when you hear the Cedar of Lebanon, you can automatically think of strength, strength, sturdiness, and the growth, because the Cedar of Lebanon goes grow very tall. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 13, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Amen. We shall flourish in the court of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in all age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Amen. See, spiritually, being fat is a good thing. Hallelujah. Amen. The fatness of his, uh, in the spirit realm is, is attesting of the weight of the glory that we carry, attests on the weight of the word of God that is inside of us, attests of the anointing that is around us and, and is on our shoulders. Hallelujah. Amen. As a fatness. Hallelujah. 
Verse 15 now say, to show that the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. That's the song of Shabbat. Amen. 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 So we go to the last, like I said, um, we're going to have very short, <laughs> very short words. Amen. So we are going to renew the covenant in um, declaration this morning. Um, pausing on a Shabbat and dwelling in the word of God is attesting of the covenant that we have with the Lord. It is a token of the honor of what God gave to us as an inheritance. So doing that is also renewing the covenant. Taking communion is renewing the covenant. Pausing to observe Shabbat is renewing the covenant. Everything that we are doing that the Lord has instructed us to do is renewing the covenant because we are obeying. We are in a position of obedience. And obedience, hallelujah, is always better than sacrifice. Obedience brings blessings. Obedience is um, a sign of humility. Hallelujah. So thank God for this day. So let us let us renew this. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. We can read it, read it together. Amen. Hallelujah. So we can do it together. One, two, three. Let us go. Today, Today I, I receive, receive from heaven, from heaven blessings, blessings, power, power health, health wealth, wealth, and increase. And increase. Amen. Today, Today, favor speaks, speaks for, me. for me. Recognition is, is my portion my for the glory, for the glory of, God. of God. Amen. Today, goodness, goodness and, mercy and mercy follow me for the, the glory of God. God. Today, Today, I, I am, am defended, defended, protected, protected and, and provided, provided for, for by, the by the grace of God. Of God. Amen. Today, Today every, every payment, payment that is due, that is to, due me to me has, has been, been released, released unto, unto me, me for, the glory, for the glory of God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, Today I, I shall enter, enter into, into an appointment, an appointment with, with the supernatural, the supernatural of heaven. heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Today I shall enter into, uh, into an enlightenment by, by the, word, the of word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I shall enter, enter into, into an, an enrichment of, of my inheritance my in, heritage God. in God. Amen. 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 Today I shall I enter, shall enter into, into an achievement of my, of my mission, mission for the for kingdom, the kingdom of, God. of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, Today I, I am, am motivated, motivated elevated, elevated, encouraged, and invigorated, and invigorated to, to overpower, overperform, overperform, sorry, uh -huh. and overproduce, and overproduce. For the, for glory, the glory, of glory of God. Of God. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to. Okay, I'm going to keep one prayer and then we will conclude. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. mm.
Adonai, your oh God, you are true. Adonai, you are true. Father God, you are true. Hallelujah. Upon our earlier generation in later one, your affirmation is good and daring forever. True and faithful, it is unbreachable forever. Hallelujah. The helper of our forefathers are you alone forever, shield and savior for the children. After them, every generation at the beginning of the universe, you are at the end of it, you are. You are the beginner and the end of all things. Hallelujah. You are the master of your people and the mighty king to take up their grievance. You take care of us. You are the first and the last. And other than you, we have no king, we have no redeemer, we have no savior. You took us out of Egypt. You redeemed us, O oh Lord, from the house of slavery, from the time we were in bondage. Hallelujah. You set us free from the oppressor. Hallelujah. And you gave us your blood, your name. Hallelujah. You gave us your word that guide us as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Exalted and uplifted, great and awesome you are, O oh God. You lift the lowly and you humble the proud. Who is like you among the heavenly powers, our Father God? Who is like you, mighty in holiness, too awesome for praise? You're doing wonders. You reign forever, rock of Israel. Arise to the aid and liberate us and set us free forever. We thank you for all you do. Blessed are you, our God and the God of our forefathers. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and ya Yaakov, the great, mighty, the awesome one, the supreme God who bestow beneficial kindness and create everything, who recalls the kindnesses of the patriarch. You bring redeem redemption to all of us. You are eternally mighty, our Lord. You bring back the dead. You give life. You give healing. You make the blind to see. You make the lame to walk. Hallelujah. You are in charge of nature. The wind blows and the rain descends at your command. You sustain the living with kindness. Revify the dead with abundance mercy. You support the fallen. You heal the sick. You release the confined and maintain all who cry out to you. Who is like you? Mighty are your deeds. Who can compare to you? Our King, our Lord. We give you all the glory and honor. And this Shabbat, we yield to you. Father, that you manifest your heavenly encounter that you release your heavenly word that your hand touch us for healing for deliverance for breakthrough we lift you up oh lord we say come and manifest yourself through all the watches that are coming lord let your word minister to us Release your anointing on you. Give us what we need in our time of need. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Blessed be your most holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much for the prayer. Amen. Amen. And thank you for sharing this word. I didn't know it was the Sabbath song, actually. Oh, yeah. 
सुमनानी mm-hmm. चित सोम सबैब थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एनी वर्ड एनी एनीथिंग यू ब्लेस अस विद एनी प्रेयर्स I think that is uh, the Psalm 92 has it all. Yeah. I'm just rediscovering it. Man, he has it all. He scattered the enemy. He put it at his place. Yes. He blessed <laughs> us. He blessed the work of our hands. That's right. Yeah, so we just need to receive it. Amen. Amen. And I'm receiving it this morning. Amen. Mm-hmm. That one he said that you give victory to the work of our hand. I was like, hmm. you know, you read the word until when you decide to let the word minister to you. Reveal. That's a particular day you will find things that you never saw before. Man, yes, <laughs> yes. It's powerful. So wow. it gives, it gives, it, we triumph in the works of our hand. I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is powerful. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Thank you. We thank the Lord. Anyone else as we can pray? Let's pray for um Olivia. Oh Anyone yeah. Who are sick? Let's pray for Olivia, for Minister Caroline, for myself, for anybody who needs divine healing. Lord, we come at your throne of grace, Father. We plead that your mighty healing hand touch each and every one of us. Touch Olivia in the place of her. um fighting for life father grant her mercy and take her out of this coma lord strengthen her and grant her healing father heal your daughter caroline from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet yes. i yield my i yield myself to you for your healing as well in my head in my body lord i believe that your mighty healing surpass all medical assistant or medical capacity or capability when the medicine can no longer act that's when you come in so we come to you with thanks thanksgiving we say thank you for divine healing thank you for all that you are doing uh in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen amen amen, amen. Amen. My dog also had a surgery so I pray for his divine healing too. <laughs> oh, okay. It was the in, it was the in and out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I dropped him in it's 7:00 a.m. I picked him up at 2. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So he's he, he's recovering right now. Oh, okay. We thank God. Mm-hmm. We thank God. Yeah. We thank God. Thank you all for connecting. Thank you and have Shabbat. a wonderful day. You too. Uh-huh. Shabbat Thank shalom you. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.